Hi, I'm Eric with Simply Elegant Home Cooking. Today I'm going to show you how I make guacamole. This recipe is really easy. As long as you use really high quality fresh ingredients, you can do as good or even better than they do in the restaurants. So stick around and I'll show you how it's done. So I'm going to be using Haas avocados for the guacamole recipe that we're going to do today. And it's really important to make sure that your avocados are ripe, but not uh, too ripe. So what you want them uh, to be like, you want to press in gently and they should give a little bit. It should feel almost like modeling clay, but they shouldn't be soft. And it can be kind of difficult to find these at the right level of doneness in most grocery stores. So what you usually want to do, you want to go shopping about one or two days ahead of time before you plan to make the guacamole. And the first step is to remove the pit. This is really, really easy. All you want to do is you want to take a knife, kind of run it in gently until you hit the pit, and then you can just kind of rotate it around until you've cut around the entire uh, perimeter of the avocado. And it should twist right off. And that's how it should look. Uh, you'll notice that it's uh, real dark green around the edges and a little lighter color in the middle. And you'll also notice that there are no brown spots. If you get these avocados at the right level of doneness, uh, they should look like this. If there's a little bit of brown spots, you can remove it. Uh, but if there's too much, you want to throw that avocado away. But this one looks perfect. And removing the pit's really, really easy. All you want to do is you want to hit your knife and then give it a little twist and it should pop right out just like that. You can discard the pit. Okay, and I've continued that process with all four of the avocados we're going to be using. All of them look really, really nice. Uh, there's just a very, very small amount. Um, you don't even have to do this if there's just such a small amount, but I like to go in there. And if you see any very, very small spots uh, around usually the edge or where the stem is, I'll just uh, kind of trim that down and discard those little bits. But these look really, really good. So the next step, we want to scoop out the actual avocado uh, interiors into a bowl and what makes this really easy is if you take your knife and just cut uh, just kind of gently cut into cubes so I'll usually go down two or three times uh, widthwise and then lengthwise as well you just want to be sure not to cut all the way through the actual peel but this will just loosen that up and after you do that it should be really really easy to just scoop that right out into a bowl Just like that. So I'm going to continue with the rest of the avocados. And when you're done, your avocado should look a little something like this. This is all four of them uh, in the bowl. And it's really important, once you remove the avocados uh, from the peel, you want to immediately hit them with some citrus. Now you can use either lemon or lime. I'm using one whole lime today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to immediately uh, juice that lime into the uh, guacamole here. That's the first half. And here's the other half of that lime. And one whole lime is the perfect amount for three to four avocados. So you want to get that lime juice in and then just give everything a big mix. And what this is going to do, it's going to prevent these avocados from oxidizing and turning brown. Don't worry yet about uh, mashing this up. We just want to stir and make sure everything is evenly coated with that uh, lime juice. And next we can begin prepping the rest of the ingredients. So I'm going to take a third of a red onion. You can use any type of onion you like, but I really like that sharp flavor from the red onion. And we are just going to finely mince this onion. And the trick is to really mince this up fine. So once you uh, dice it a bit, you just want to keep running your knife through it like this until this is really minced up. And you really want to go uh, until it looks about like this. Okay, now this is optional if you don't like heat, but I like to add one jalapeno. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take off uh, the end and I'm going to leave the seeds in. You can remove the seeds uh, to lessen the heat, but I like them in there. So I'm going to cut this uh, first into slices. And then once you've sliced your jalapeno, you can uh, just start to dice that up just like we did with the onion. 
And we want to get this jalapeno pepper really, really diced up. So that's how you want it to look. You probably want to take this even finer than you did with the red onion. Uh, but this looks good. So I'm going to add this into the bowl as well. And here's how we're looking so far with our avocados, red onion, and jalapeno. I'm going to do a similar process now with one clove of garlic. I'm going to uh, mince that up even finer than I did with the pepper, but I'm going to do that off camera. You've seen enough of me chopping for one video. And that's the consistency you want to go for. You want it really, really, really fine. So I'm going to add that in as well to the bowl. Okay, so our guacamole is starting to materialize. I'm going to hit it with just a few twists of freshly cracked black pepper. and about a half a teaspoon of uh, pink salt. You can also use sea salt. Okay, so now we wanna stir everything to combine it. And we also wanna mash it up. Now, I like to use a fork because I don't like to uh, totally pulverize it. I like to leave some chunks in there, uh, but just do whatever you like. I just really don't recommend using a food processor. You don't wanna, get rid of all the texture. So a potato masher, a fork, a knife, all of these options work really, really well for this stage. Just kind of stir it a little bit as you go. Okay, and this is the consistency that I like to go for. Uh, we left some chunks in there, but not too much. I like really a medium chunky guacamole. Now this is ready to serve, uh, this has everything you need, but there's two more optional ingredients that I'm going to add. And I like to save these for last, uh, not only because they're optional, but also because they do not uh, hold up well during that mashing process. And those optional ingredients are one small Roma tomato that I've diced up. Didn't dice that as fine as I did the other ingredients, so that's on top. And I like to go in with about one tablespoon of uh, finely minced cilantro. Some people really, really hate cilantro, so you can definitely leave that off if you don't like it. Uh, but I like to add a little bit, but it's definitely one of those ingredients where less is more. Uh, so I would start with one tablespoon, maybe two, but I wouldn't use more than that because it can really overpower. So I'm just gonna give this a final stir and it'll be ready for us to serve it up. Okay, so here's our guacamole served up with some corn chips. Let's dig in and see how it turned out. Mm. Mm. So those avocados were perfectly ripe if you follow the technique uh, for picking them out and allowing them to ripen. It's going to turn out perfectly every time. Uh, there's really nice heat. It's subtle heat, uh, but it didn't overpower with the jalapeno. And the way we used actual fresh peppers, fresh garlic, this blows away what most people do pouring in uh, powdered spices. So I really hope you give this a try. Authentic guacamole. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Eric with Simply Elegant Home Cooking, and I'll see you again soon.